Even though there are six different surfaces in DLive, they all operate exactly the same. Let's look at how easy it is to set up your channel configuration on a surface. To the right of the right screen, you have a surface button. And under the control and strip assign tab, we have two windows here. Across the top, I have all of the items that are found within the mix system. Along the bottom represents the actual physical surface in front of you. In order to move something from the mix engine into the surface is as simple as drag and drop. So if I want this channel, I can just grab it and pull it down. If I want a series of channels, I can use block select by pressing block select and by choosing the first and the last channel that I wish to move, I can pull down an entire block. Once on the bottom, I can move from side to side, left to right, doesn't matter. If I would like to remove something, I can drag up or drag down and remove it from the surface. Don't forget though, just because it's not on the surface doesn't mean that it's no longer functioning. Anything in the mix engine is still operating whether it's on the surface or not. So be very careful about dragging off channels if they are unmuted and have signal passing on them. Different surfaces will have different amount of banks, but as you're working in one bank at a time, this is not really any difference between them. You'll have either bank one, two, or three, bank one and two, or just bank one. All banks on every surface have six layers, A through F. With DLive's simple drag and drop functionality, coupled with the flexibility to put anything anywhere, engineers can quickly set up the surface to their preferred workflow.